Sailor. I am going to review both of these cakes, the big cake versus the skinny cake. So I think I had it like this on my little thumbnail. <laughs> From the looks of it, this is bigger. This looks like it has more yardage just by looking at the two. There is no wool. These are 100% acrylic. So let's go ahead and start with the big cake first. Also, I've noticed that the skinny cake is softer than the big cake. Yes, there is a big difference. Hmm. Okay, this is by Yarnspirations. And... The colorway is Nightberry. It's a medium weight four, machine washable and dryable. For the knitting needles, you'll need a five millimeter. And for the crochet hook, they recommend a five millimeter. It is 10.5 ounces and 300 grams. It is 603 yards which is 551 meters. This is beautiful. And also it has a very nice pattern on the back. And if you would like to do this pattern, it's showing that you need four balls. Also, this is a knit pattern. It's called Shake It Up Knit Blanket. Okay, now on to the skinny cakes. This particular colorway is called Citron Fizz. And this colorway is called Rainbow. Now I got both of these cakes from Michaels and also the big cake from Michaels for $7.99 each cake. Right now these are on the Michaels website for $9.99, okay? But they have a special going right on right now, today, for buy one, get one 50% off. So when you put two items in your cart, you'll buy one at $9.99 and then you'll get the other one for half off. You can't beat that. And for the big cakes, for these, it's 20, there are 20 colors for the big cakes and 16 colors for the skinny cakes. All right, let's do a little comparison here. Let's check and see. Now, remember I told you the big cake was a medium weight four. Okay, this is a light weight three. Okay, for the... Knitting needles, you'll need a four millimeter and also a four millimeter USG six hook, which will be this little small baby here. You'll need that one. For the big cake, you'll need a five millimeter hook. Okay, see this is the difference. So let's check the yardage. Okay, for the lightweight three, which is the skinny cake, it's 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, whereas the big cake is 10.5 ounces and 300 grams. The yardage is 795 yards for the skinny cake and 603 yards for the big cake. So that's the difference. Lightweight three, skinny cake, medium weight four, big cake. Skinny cake, 795 yards, which is 727 meters. Big cake, 603 yards, 551 meters. Very nice. They both have patterns. And check this one out. This particular pattern on the skinny cake, you only need one ball. Isn't that wonderful? To make this shawl. 
This is a knit shawl. It's a knit shawl on the bias. So I think that's wonderful that you only need this one cape to do a project. And I was thinking about doing a shawl myself, crocheting up one. This is beautiful. I just love the colorway. Oh, wow. And you know, I am going to come back on and show you what I am working on or have completed. I just cannot wait to check it out. I am so really happy that you took this time to come on and see the differences between the two. I think this is a great buy, no matter which one you buy. Okay, for the big cake, I am using a 5.5 millimeter hook because this is what the pattern required on the label it did say or recommend an H hook but I'm using this 5.5 and it's comfortable in my hand it's working up well and I am doing this hat, this child's hat, with some double crochets. Okay, I did half double crochets, front and back post. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm enjoying the big cake. And like I said, for this, For this big cake right here, it's 100% acrylic, medium weight four, and it's not as soft. You see how that's working up very nicely, but it's not as soft as this cake here. Oh my goodness, it's nice. You see if I can find that center so I can Now, the center was easy to find in the big cake, and then a little skinny cake is taking forever. Like, oh, what in the world? I want my center. I want it, and I want it now. <laughs> Look at this. Big old mess. That's why a lot of times I'll start my project. I'll actually pull from the outside because I don't have time for all of this. See, skinny cake is a mess. After that big old mess, I found it, y'all. <laughs> I just know with a skinny cake, I'll never pull from the center again. I sure won't because I don't have time for all that. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shoot. I tell you. Who has done that before? Let me know in the comments. Now, pulling from the center on that medium weight four yarn was easy okay so the big cake did not give me any problems at all but i'm telling you this right here mm -mm. i had never pulled from a lightweight three from the center i always if it wasn't already sticking out i would just go ahead and and if it wasn't already sticking out i would go ahead and just pull from the side. I would take the sleeve off and then I would just pull from the side. That's what I would do. So I was like, shoot, I don't have time to be messing around with that. But it was funny. So I will be leaving this in my video. <laughs> right. I will not be taking that out. That was funny. Okay. I want to make a shawl. I don't know what type of shawl and what pattern. And a pattern may call for a larger hook rather than this G hook. But I just pulled it out just so you all can see it. So let me act like I already went to the end. And then I'm just going to turn it and see how it works here. Okay. With these little single crochets, it's doing well. Yeah, it's doing a little something. See? Mm-hmm. But this yarn is so soft. Oh my goodness. I wish you could feel it. So when you go to Michaels and or 
order from Michaels online. I'm telling you, feel it. Feel this yarn. It's just oh, so dreamy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes. Oh, it feels so good in the hand. Look at that. So, this is the difference between the four and the three. You see how it's worked up? See the difference? For those that are just starting out, for the beginners, you can see the difference. More advanced crocheters already understand and know the difference between a three and four way yarn. But this is what you would be looking at. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. I really enjoyed and enjoy doing reviews and coming to you with new yarn to play with. And I want you all to have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy yourselves. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye for now.